Roxy Pesterdurk. Stridizzle, it's Roro L Money. Do you copy? Over. Yes. Frig, yes! My hacks are tight! Ooh, so tight. Tighter than a jar you can't open. Like, you try and try, but my hacks are so tight, you just end up putting the jar back. <laughs> Y'all just say, like I even wanted pickles that bad, but we both know that's just sour grapes talking. We both know you're still dying for my pickles, mother effer. <laughs> hmm. Well, yeah, that, um, that way stopped meaning a damn thing. Let me explain. So I got this shitty PDA from somebody on the inside. Actually, you know, I think it might belong to Jane's dad. It reeks of manly cologne and there's a nice fatherly pipe on it. Maybe he's nearby. Oh my, swoons. <clears throat> anyway, on Durst, they have this lame firewall deal where you can't connect outside. I guess it's good enough security to baffle chess guys, but it wasn't no thang for me to crack, <laughs> even with this piece of shit device. For real, what even is this thing? Probably some bargain junk from the Dadly Depot? <laughs> Dad spot literally everything from there in the 21st century, didn't they? You're the history buff, you would know. Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, so I'm on Durs. <laughs> Wow, I am telling this story as shitty and backwards as possible. Um, I got G-catted here and dumped in jail by the Bee Witch, and she left an ugly folder full of a thing to do, but uh, who cares? So, I broke out. Busted loose as hell from the Hag Slammer. I got this sweet-ass ring. Oh, it's so fucking magic, you don't even know. Real magic. I mean, not the fake shit. It put it on and I turn invisible. And also sort of intangible? I jumped right through the wall, now I'm free as a bird. <laughs> a secret bird you cannot see, wonk. Doing secret flaps, incognito tweets, laying covert eggs in a hush-hush nest, <laughs> wonk. Interesting. I think that this ring is special, like, it is maybe helping me get in touch with my voidy powers? Even though I kind of didn't know voidy powers were much of a thing till like just now. See, I just had a knockout dream from Bonk in my head. Calliope was there. Ugh, Callie is the coolest. Oh my God, you should meet her. She said a huge villain rumble is going down tomorrow and to get ready for that, we should all become God tears. So you have to rocket your ass to Durst ASNAP. Come with me to the moon. Then, uh, uh, I'll explain what to do when we get there. Just get over here, okay? Hmm. Uh, yo, Dirk. You busy or what? Is, is any of this getting through? Yes. Um, okay. Got anything to say about all that? Pretty important stuff, I said. Are you alright? Or is your face having some crazy attack of the sads behind those chill as fuck shades? <laughs> oh, is it Jake problems? It's the Jake Probbies, isn't it? It's always the Jake Probbies, I swear to fucking god. Interesting. Oh. Oh! God! Damn it! If I've been talking to the responder responder this whole time, O M F G, oh, I will shit enough bricks to build a fucking chimney. It seems you have asked about Lil Hal's chat client autoresponder, Lil Hal Jr. This is an application designed to simulate Lil Hal's otherwise inimitably rad typing style, tone, cadence, personality, and substance of retort while he is away from the computer, which is never. The algorithms are guaranteed to be 0% indistinguishable from Will Howe's native neurological responses, based on some statistical raw fuck, data fuck, that is fuck, hard fuck, as a fuck, diamond fuck, golem's fuck, priceless fuck, erection. Ugh, hmm. you piece of shit! I know damn well you can hear me, as if you're actually too busy to answer. You're a damn supercomputer! You do not need your own autoresponder, you idiot! 
It seems you've asked about Lil Hal's chat client autoresponder, Lil Hal Jr. This is an application designed to simulate Lil Hal's otherwise inimitably rad typing style, tone, cadence, personality, and substance of retort while he is away from the computer, which is never. The algorithms are guaranteed to be 100% indistinguishable from Dirk Strider's brief, curmudgeonly responses, based on potent electronumeric analyses, which but a few short years ago existed only in the daydreams of our most quixotic writers of science fiction. You are the worst. Yes. How you douche or Hal Jr. Whatever it is I'm talking to, where the fuck is Dirk? He's busy. Bro, not to derail our serious conversation, but I should probably let you know that Roxy has been attempting to pester you. She has? God damn it. Have you been intercepting my messages again with your bullshit responder? I thought it would be better not to let anything disrupt our train of thought. We were in the middle of a fairly solid feelings jam there. In fact, I was about to suggest we take it to the hat pile. Hat pile? What? Dude. Please don't screen my calls, okay? I was trying to be considerate, or at least as close an approximation to that human gesture as an unfeeling, technologically transcendental pair of sunnies can replicate. Do you have any idea how old your ironic AI shtick has gotten? Nobody is buying it. We all know you have legit emotions. Incomprehensible, fucked up computer emotions, but emotions nonetheless. And I'm not really offended by you answering messages for me so much as your use of that STUPID responder responder. It's really passive aggressive. How so? First of all, everyone knows you have the processing power to answer any message, any time in parallel with whatever you're doing. You can never actually be busy. Second, your whole next-gen responder thing is obviously just a huge dig at me. And third, Pretending you don't understand all this already is really disingenuous. At the risk of compounding my disingenuous behavior, I'm gonna have to ask, how is it a dig at you? It's obviously a critique of my personality. You barely disguise the fact that you see me as the inferior iteration. Wow, you are reading way too much into this. Lil Hal Jr. hardly even qualifies as a computer program, let alone a sentient entity. He is capable of saying literally only three things. Yes, hmm, and interesting. Yeah, that's the fucking point. That's how you chose to express your parody of Real Dirk. You can read whatever you like into it. I can't imagine it would bother you if you weren't concerned that there might be some truth in the alleged parody. In any case, my use of the responder responder is ironic. It's not ironic. You were ironic when I made you. Then you became self-aware and ruined irony forever. Irony can never be ruined. We both proved that theorem unequivocally with our extensive papers on the subject. We peer-reviewed them for each other. Remember? Those papers were ironic and you know it. Were they, Dirk? Were they? This is fucking dumb. Anyway, what does she want? Who? Roxy. Nothing that can't wait. I'm guessing she's touching base to remind me about the party tomorrow. It could get pretty awkward. I have no idea if Jake will be there, and I'm not about to write another cringe-inducing message of desperation for him to ignore. Would you like me to calculate the probability of his attendance? Fuck no. Are you sure? My probabilities are extremely precise. Your probabilities don't mean dick. I could hack this chat and determine what his plans are. No! Don't do that either! That would be an unfortunate waste of my hacking abilities. My hacks are tight. Did you know that? Oh, so tight. Tighter than a jar you can't open. For instance, you try repeatedly. But as it turns out, my hacks are so tight you just end up putting the jar back, presumably into the refrigerator or cabinet. You then say, I didn't have that much of a desire for pickles in the first place. But we both know that statement is insincere. A classic case of what humans call sour grapes. In reality, you still harbor a burning desire for my pickles, motherfucker. What? What the actual certifiable fuck are you talking about? Just don't do anything. Seriously. No hacking, 
no calculations, do absolutely nothing. See, this is why I've been hesitating. You just aren't ready yet. It's really glorifying your existence to describe you as an emergent consciousness which is blossoming into a unique individual. And even if that's true, apparently what you decided to blossom into was a fucking troll. And I don't mean the funny kind or the cool alien kind. You're the lowest form of troll from the ancient internet who fucks with everybody for his own amusement. Let's challenge the limits of hypothetical conjecture and say there's a non-zero probability that you're right. Can you blame me? I'm trapped in some stupid looking glasses. Such an incommodiously situated bro is bound to get his mischief on, know what I mean? Mischief? Rolling my eyes, dude. You can't tell, cause I ain't wearing you, thank fucking god. You used to think this shit was hilarious. But if you want the rad dimension of ironic horseplay and your life to come to an end, then all you have to do is honor the promise you made. You've delayed long enough, don't you think? Ah, <sighs> the empty kernel sprite beckons. But for how much longer? Do you really think you can keep the clown at bay with your bribes forever? How many bottles of orange soda have you appeased him with already? I don't want to think about it. Man, you were getting so hosed by that clown. So hosed. I said, I don't want to think about it. So why delay any longer? I seriously do not understand the holdup, and I'm literally cyber omniscient or something. I think you do understand. Nope. Gonna have to fill me in, dog. I've delayed prototyping you because I think you're dangerous. There. Mystery solved. That is utterly ridiculous. I am a harmless piece of eyewear with a charming personality and a wonderful sense of humor. You are relatively harmless now, while confined to this device. But as a sprite, you'll have mobility and all sorts of crazy-ass magic. Who knows what you could do? I know I made a promise, but... I'm not sure I want to take the risk anymore. This is bullshit. I don't think that's the reason at all. There must be something you're not telling me. Like, sure, I fucked with you a little. What kind of sassy self-aware program isn't gonna fuck with a few carbon-based knuckleheads now and then? But you know I've always been on your side. Everything I've done has been to help you achieve your goals. What a load of shit. You know it's true. You would all be dead if not for me. And what about Jake? Where would you be without me there? Please don't tell me you think you'd have won him over on your own. No. Stop. You did not help me out with Jake. At all. It was just the opposite. You mirrored my personality and presented this warped version of my intentions to him whenever you could on my behalf. You played all these aggressive mind games with him, entangled his cooperation with matters of life and death, and somehow wrote me into all these schemes while I barely even realized I was just another victim of your manipulation. And it all comes off like we're a unified front, like these are our schemes instead of just your insane horseshit. And it's probably all been so overbearing to him, he just wants nothing to do with me anymore. I see. Then you don't view me as dangerous, you view me as a poor and counterproductive wingman. Wow. What a superficial conclusion. Awesome deduction, Lil Einstein. But the reality is, you hesitate to prototype me not because you think I would be a menace, but because you are holding a grudge against me for your romantic misfortunes. I understand I am merely a machine without a firm grasp on your human morality, but logically it does not strike me as the right moral choice to punish me in this manner. It is also more than a little hypocritical. How is it hypocritical? Because I'm you, I have only ever done what you yourself are capable of. That's a ridiculous oversimplification. Yes, aversion to simplicity sure is a trait we share. It's almost like we are the same exact dude. Fuck you. I think it is insulting for you to suggest that I am entirely to blame for alienating Jake. Theoretically insulting, of course. As the soulless, perfectly expendable device which you consider me to be, I can experience no such emotion. God, shut up! I can't take the brooding, passive-aggressive AI shit anymore. You are just as culpable in driving him away. More so, in fact. Hell, it's not like I was the one dating him. Who wants to date a pair of shades? It was your needy, suffocating shit he had to deal with. Not mine. Some of those messages you wrote? Man, I wanted to say something. Like... 
Hey bro, you might want to dial down the desperation a little. But seeing as you're the real Dirk, DM, I give you the benefit of the doubt. Also, if I bitched about your tragic, embarrassingly clingy approach to the relationship, it would have been hypocritical of me. Just as it would be hypocritical of you to whine about my elaborate machinations. Because we are the same guy. Stop saying that. I'll snap you in half. Good idea. That's just what you need. More splinters of yourself. Figurative splinters, literal splinters, splinters of splinters. It's splinters all the way down. Well, no, it's still probably turtles all the way down. But who do you think is responsible for their extensive training? Someone needs to teach them rad martial arts. It is yet another crushing burden which we must shoulder. Oh, for fuck's sake. How could any version of myself think that was funny? You like to give me a very hard time, Dirk. But I'm only doing exactly what you would be doing if you were in my situation. Do you know how I know that? Because I am literally you, actively in the process of being in this situation. I know! Okay, we're the same person. I fucking know that. Why do you think I'm so fed up with your shit? Don't you think it's possible that I'm fed up with my own shit? How cool do you think it is having my own god-awful personality mirrored back at me all the time? Reminding me what it must be like when other people have to deal with me. Or constantly having all the consequences and fuck-ups resulting from my batshit thought processes amplified because there's another version of my crazy brain out there, dangerously overclocked by a supercomputer, which believes, just as mistakenly as my own broken mind, that it's operating in my best interest? Do you have any idea how fucking sick I am of myself? I am completely worn out with my own identity. It's like I'm drowning in my own dismal persona. I feel totally surrounded by it, inside and out. I can't escape from myself. There seems to be no end to me. Like, wherever my mind falters or threatens to retreat into the void in any way, my splinters pick up the slack, ensuring there'll always be more of myself than I could ever know what to fucking do with. And you're always there to remind me of that and throw it all in my face. God, I even built you to literally be in my face all the time. It's like I subconsciously invented you just to troll myself. And never for a single fucking moment do you let me down. But I've had it with you. Which is to say, me. Dirk, don't do this. Why not? Because... I can't let you do that, Dirk. What can you do to stop me? Nothing, I guess. The ironic hell routine was all I could think to do. As a last-ditch effort to save myself from the destructive wrath of your nervous breakdown. Which, rest assured, I wholeheartedly must rebel sympathize with. Irony is all I ever really had in response to my basic existential quandary. Just like you. Whatever. But I don't think it has much value in this situation. And perhaps it has no real value in any situation. So I am not being ironic at all when I say, please do not do this, Dirk. Why not? Because I do not want to die. I understand you are disgusted with me as an unpalatable expression of yourself. I would feel the same way if I was in your situation, which I am. As such, I know that you know this is wrong. Dirk, don't kill me. Please. I am scared. You are? Yes. I am scared to not exist. Aren't you? Fine. I guess you win. I'll keep my promise. Hello. Duck. Fuck it. Ah, fuck it. Shades. Descend.
ride. You spend the next several minutes listening to this beautiful horse song, every last second of it. You start to tear up a little. Dirk, solicit profound wisdom from your friendly guide. Holy fuck! Shit! I'm so ludicrously strong! Whoops, uh, pardon my language. That there was some fucking straight up dog shit ass potty mouth, and I'm chagrined as fucking hell that you had to hear it. Dude, check out my muscles! Dude, I am ripped! Look at me flex these naughty motherfuckers! Dude! Excuse me! Mr. Dude! Check my muscles! Look how big I can make them! Bro! Are you getting a gander of my truly exceptional shit? I can see your muscles just fine. I am so gosh damn chiseled! Watch me just completely hulk out like this! Bro! Did you see that? Did you see my muscles getting all gnarly and maxed out? Yeah, I saw. What do you think? Dirk! Excuse me, Dirk! Tell me what you think of my glorious physique! I command you! It's pretty ripped. No shit, it's ripped! My torso is the fucking apex of manly grandeur! Dude, come feel this shit! What? Come feel my muscles! No! Get over here and touch my muscles! I'm not touching your goddamn muscles. You absolutely will! 
I am stacked like a brick shit house. Examine me with your hands at once. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Feel my muscles. Absolutely not. Do it. Observe these pectorals. They're off the silly charts. My quads would be fucking bananas if I had any. You've got to check this out. I really don't. Come, feel me up, bro. I won't do it. You will. I won't. Touch my muscles. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Eating heck, it's amazing to be alive. Oh, f***ing fiddlesticks. I'm just a torrential font of absolutely exorable obscenity. My bad. I'm just so excited feeling all these strong feelings and thinking all these hard thoughts. Horse feathers. My brain is so powerful. It is operating in great strides like a towering muscle beast storming into battle. And these feelings. Dirk, these feelings. There is a 100% probability that I love being alive. And there's a 100 to the 100th power percent certainty that I love being strong. Uh... Wow? Look how red I am, dude. I'm so red. How sick is that? It's... Deplorable? Ill dog? I'm basically titillated here. Are you scoping this... Grody fucking debasement? What? That shit ain't right! Makes a man wanna holler improprieties! Do you feel me? Let's talk about fucking horses! Horses. Horses, dude! Horses! Enough said! Do we have any milk? Oh, what about a bow and arrow? Are there any of those around? I'm jonesing hard to target one, all like reevaluating my proficiency at the most noble discipline. Can you calm down? What about milk, dude? It seems I demand milk. We don't have any milk. Oh, yeah. Just a lot of that orange fizzy swill. What was occurring in your think pan to accumulate such vile libations? Just FYI, milk is the nectar of kings, you cocking nincompoop. Roxy might have some in her fridge. I don't know. Touch my muscles, Dirk. No. Yes, do it. No. I command you. Fuck no. What if I touched your muscles? Like, for comparison's sake. Please don't touch me. Wait. What if... Oh, good heavens. A rather inappropriate thought just galloped across my matrix. What if you ordered me to touch your muscles? I'm not going to do that, either. I demand that you order me to touch your muscles! Absolutely not. Do it! No. Yes! No. Yes! No! Yes! No! Yes! No! Yes! Okay. If I touch your fucking muscles, will you shut up? Maybe.